All right, tell me what you think. Hmm. Delicious! You like it? I love it. Good morning. So we're going to try our hand at some keto donuts. So these are going to bake Wait, for 20. Wait, you still have them closed? Yep. Bake. And then hit start. So these are going to bake for 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. I will link the recipe in the in the description. Whoa! All right. So the first thing you're going to do is to dry cup. ingredients. So one cup of almond flour. So I have my one cup. Ooh. And then my almond flour is right here, I believe. No, never mind. It's right here. And then I'm going to open it up. And then I'm going to stick my one cup in there. One cup. I guess I'm just going to pour it. Can I suggest pouring it over the mixing bowl? The bottom? Yeah, perfect. Alright, so what else is a dry ingredient? Um, some one fourth cup of sugar. It's okay. Thank you, Liz. Yes. Sugar, sugar, sugar! So, so we use the Swerve sweetener. I'm going to grab the um, It's non-GMO. It is good for baking. It smells like something I'd want to dip in. <laughs> Eat it raw. How perfect is that? That was very perfect. Now we're just gonna pour it in here. One. Two. So we're gonna open up the spoon side. I'm just letting you guys know this powder by itself is not the best. I've tried it. Let's put in some extra. Ooh. <laughs> I like where you're going with this. Okay, that should be good. So now we're going to add in the salts. We use this kind because it's quick and easy. Now I'm going to mix it all together because that is all the solids. So I'm just gonna mix it in. And I'm gonna put a check, ch check, not really check, but more to check, check, and check. So we've done all of the solids now. So now those are done. And once we were done with all the solids, we dumped it into like, a cereal bowl. So now first I need a clump of butter. I need one fourth cup of butter so I just grab a stick and make it one fourth. So one, two, three, four. So now I found my fourth mark. So one, two, three, four, right here. And then I'm just going to cut it in half. Flip it over, even it up, and we cut it thick. So now we have my one fourth. So now I'm gonna unravel this part because we have to melt it for 30 seconds so it's nice and liquidy. And put that there. Now we're gonna take it to the microwave. So now I'm just gonna dump it in. It's fine if it's a little clumpy, it'll eventually melt. All right, let's add the milk. Okay, now I have my almond milk. I am going to pour it over here. One fourth cup and then drip it in. Same eggs. 
are done. I'm going to use the butter bowl as my eggshell holder. Okay, let's go. Two eggs. This is a homemade vanilla extract. Our um, aunt sent us some vanilla beans. So we're going to use that. So now that, that is all done, so I'm going to mix it all in. Get the handle. Mmm, it's already smelling good. Here's what we have done. We do not have a donut pan, so we cut strips of parchment paper that we're going to have here in the muffin tray, which has been greased with spray ghee. We have put the donut batter in a freezer bag, and we're going to cut the tip just to make this like a pastry bag, and we're going to If you have a pastry bag, in. that's good too. Yes, and we're going to fill in around the center pieces. So as you can see, my plan did not go the way it was supposed to, but just typical for me trying any of these fancy recipe things. So we're just gonna make donuts and take the holes out after. So let's go ahead and move these papers out. So we've gone ahead and filled up the muffin pan. It, we made a little mistake, but it'll still taste good. They'll be donut uh, muffins. Muffin, no, muffins are already done. Demuffins, demuffins, demuffins. Demuffins. They're gonna be demuffins. So for the glaze on these keto donuts, I'm going to melt the other four tablespoons of butter from the stick that we used in the batter. And I'm going to add in a little bit more of the cocoa powder because I wanna make a chocolate glaze to put on the donuts. So I'm going to melt these together. So the keto donuts have come out of the oven. I'm going to spoon these out of the pan um, and we're going to drizzle some glaze on them.